When a man who had no friends was asked why this happened, he responded, Friendship is like a diamond. It's rare, expensive, and there are a lot of fakes. If you made one mistake, then a second and a third, at some point you would say, There are no real diamonds in the world. There are only fakes. And another man added, A friend is a person to be valued and treasured, but unfortunately, there are rarely any friends in life you can really value. Haruki Murakami in his book, Norwegian Forest, also talks about this through the voices of his characters. Do you like loneliness? she asked, propping her cheeks with her hands. Traveling alone, eating alone, sitting in a classroom apart from everyone else. I don't like being alone. I just don't make any extra acquaintances, I answered. I don't want to be disappointed in people. There's a wonderful and sad parable about the friendship of a boy and an apple tree, and it's useful for everyone to know it, those who do not have friends and those who have them. Why? Have a listen and answer the question for yourself. The little boy became friends with the apple tree in the forest. He often came to it, swung on its branches, ate the apples it gave him, made wreaths of the leaves, and imagined himself a real king of the forest. On a hot day, when he got tired of playing, the apple tree would shelter him from the sun and the boy would fall asleep in its shade. And the apple tree had faith in an honest and sincere friendship. Time passed. The boy grew up and began to visit the friend more rarely. He had new friends and new interests, but sometimes he still visited the apple tree. One day he came to it again, and the tree saw that he was very upset. What happened to you, my friend? asked the apple tree, looking into his eyes. Why do you no longer play with me? Do not swing on my branches. Do not imagine yourself a king. A king must have money, and I don't have any, the boy answered glumly. Neither do you. But I have apples. Take them and sell them. Then you will have money, and you will be my good and happy friend again. The boy plucked the apples took them away with him and sold them. But he did not return to the apple tree, and it waited a long time for him, looking at the road where he always came to it. One day, he did show up, and again was unhappy with life. Why did you take so long to come? The apple tree asked. I have missed you. Because I have a lot of problems. Everyone has a family and children, and I can't have a family of my own because I don't have a home. What's the point of our friendship if you can't give me a home? I can, the apple tree replied. Cut down my branches and build yourself whatever home you want. Then you will be happy again. He cut off all its branches, went away and built himself a house, and then married and enjoyed life until his old age without remembering his apple tree. But one day he came back to it, and again, instead of the joy of seeing it, he complained about life. I'm sick of everything. I want to sail away somewhere so I don't have to see anyone. I need a boat, but I don't know where to get one. The apple tree was silent, looking at his friend sadly. But the man took out his axe, and swinging it several times, he cut down its trunk to make a boat out of it. And when he had succeeded, he left, without even looking back at the poor, tortured stump left from his friend. Time passed. Frequent rains watered the apple tree stump. The sun warmed the ground around it. Wild animals sometimes climbed on it and rested, enjoying life. But the stump was not happy about anything. It no longer saw the meaning in what it used to value more than anything else in the world. But the world did not cease to exist, and one day the stump released a little green sprout from its soul, which quickly turned into a young, beautiful apple tree full of strength. It began to live and again learned to enjoy every new day. But one day, a little boy came to it and said, Hi. Let's be friends. The apple tree trembled with all its branches, but did not answer him. 
it no longer believed in honest and sincere friendship. George Carlin, American stand-up comedian, actor, writer, screenwriter, and producer once said, Inside every cynical person is a disappointed idealist. Who knows, maybe he used to be such an apple tree for someone too. In The Vampire Diaries, Damon Salvatore says, The hardest thing is getting over people who have brought only pain and disappointment. We'll argue with him. The hardest thing is to forget such friends. And if you know someone who has no friends, don't rush to condemn them. That doesn't always mean they are bad themselves. Maybe they have been an apple tree for someone too often, and now they have simply stopped believing in honest and sincere friendship. And that's very sad, isn't it? Not having friends shows that a person has many reasons not to trust people.